In this video, I'll share with you five things you need to know before visiting China. Hi everyone, my name is Mei Ling. In this channel, I help you learn real life Chinese language and culture. Earlier this year, as China opened its borders to the world, I was able to visit my home country, China, after a few years living in North America. I had my challenges visiting China after so many years. And I want to share some tips with you so that you can get prepared before you visit China. The first one is how to make payment in China. When I was visiting Shanghai in March earlier this year, I was going to take a cruise to see the night view of Shanghai. But when I was paying for the tickets, I was told that cash is not accepted and my international visa card is also not accepted. I was really frustrated, but fortunately, I was traveling with my parents, so they helped me get the tickets using their WeChat Pay. This is very common in China. A lot of the places, they only take WeChat Pay or Alipay. Even cash is not accepted at some places because people are so used to doing mobile payments in China. So I highly recommend that you set up WeChat Pay or Alipay before you visit China. And the good news is that you can use your international credit cards and connect them with WeChat and Alipay platforms. In terms of how to do that, I will add the links in the description below so you can follow the steps and get them set up. The second thing is to keep your passport with you at all time. You will need your passport when you check in at the hotel, purchase tickets at tourist attractions, get tickets for taking a bullet train. And as a tourist, it's always a good idea to keep your passport with you in case that it's needed to verify your visa and identity. Without it, you might not be able to visit certain places or take certain public transit. And now moving on to the third one is to purchase a VPN before you arrive in China. As you probably know, most of the websites cannot be accessed in China. So if you want to visit Google, YouTube, or any other sites that you are used to, make sure you get a VPN before you arrive in China, because um, usually it will not work to try to get a VPN in China. Number four is how to call waiters at restaurants. In North America, if people want to get waiters' attention, you can simply wave or just making eye contact with the waiter. But in China, that's not the case. You need to speak out loud. So you can say Fu Yuan, which means waiter or waitress in Chinese. Or if you want to be more polite, you can also say Ni hao, simply saying hi to get their attention, and then they will come and uh, and help you. Also, at restaurants in China, you don't need to pay any tips; it is not expected at all. All right, last but not least, keep bathroom tissues with you uh, when you go to public bathrooms in China. It's not common to have bathroom tissues available in public bathrooms in China, so you definitely want to prepare some um, for yourself and to be honest after a few years now living in china i didn't re even remember this and my mom had to remind me of this and you can imagine how awkward it will be if you don't know about this so i hope these tips help you before you visit china and check out my other videos where you can learn real life chinese through vlogs and it's always a good thing to pick up some Chinese before you visit China because that will help you communicate with the locals there. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching and see you next time.